third day of DISTRI. We know this is an ambitious program. You have another very busy day ahead, uh, and we have an early start here. Uh, we're going to leave the doors open. We're going to expect uh, many more to come in the room over the course of the next five, ten minutes. But I wanted to get kicked off with a session they give me each year called 80 Retailers Around the World. A number of people have asked me what that's all about. No, it's not, in fact, 80 examples. Uh, but it's just my opportunity to point out some of the trends and some of the examples that really might show us the way uh, in the months and years to come in retail. These are examples that come from EMEA, or in some cases, outside of our markets. These are examples that come from consumer technology, and in other cases, outside of our industry. Uh, but all of them are revealing in some way, shape, or form. Uh, the first one I wanted to bring forward, and this is going to be just a, a few pictures, a few videos, and done in a more narrative style. I just want to tell you what I think is happening, what is significant in the world of retail. Uh, how many of you have heard about Amazon Go? Have you seen it? Have you read about it? So this is an online powerhouse opening their own stores, but doing it in a very different way. Uh, if you haven't seen it, let me show you the video first, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about why I think it's significant. I'll play that video if you would please, Amazon Go. Four years ago, we started to wonder, what would shopping look like if you could walk into a store, grab what you want, and just go? What if we could weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Welcome to Amazon Go. Use the Amazon Go app to enter. Then put away your phone and start shopping. It's really that simple. Take whatever you like. Anything you pick up is automatically added to your virtual cart. If you change your mind about that cupcake, just put it back. Our technology will update your virtual cart automatically. So how does it work? We used computer vision, deep learning algorithms, and sensor fusion, much like you'd find in self-driving cars. We call it Just Walk Out Technology. Once you've got everything you want, you can just go. When you leave, our Just Walk Out technology adds up your virtual cart and charges your Amazon account. Your receipt is sent straight to the app, and you can keep going. Amazon Go. No lines, no checkout. No, seriously. So there are a few Amazon Go stores open currently only for employees with the plan of opening it to the broader general public and opening more locations later this year. Uh, why I think it's significant, I, I just want to step back and, and look at the bigger picture. Um, historically, our industry has been an incredible retail laboratory. Uh, the example many of us go back to time and time again is the Apple retail stores. Fifteen years ago, uh, they changed the game. Not just aesthetic and layout, but they more fundamentally changed the expectations of customers. Uh, it was delivering a brand new customer experience around technology products. Um, that has had a dramatic impact on all of us who work in the world of retail. So this is potentially another game changer. Uh, we'll talk a lot about omnichannel. We'll talk a lot about the phenomenon of digital and physical coexisting. But between click and bricks, those lines are often blurring. Uh, and there is one company, Amazon, that's in a unique position to bring that unique online thinking to the physical world. So watch very closely what they're doing with the Amazon Go stores. Watch very closely how they refine it, what's successful, what's not. Because again, this holds the promise, the potential of changing the expectations of the way our customers shop. It's really bringing the online and the, the physical experience much closer together. I mentioned uh, in my workshop, if some of you had joined, uh, I think there's very significant news coming out of Germany uh, last month. Uh, this is one of the most powerful consumer electronics retailers in the world, certainly a leader in our markets. Uh, MediaMarkt has launched with a partner. This is Grover. It's a Berlin-based startup, a rental program for electronics. It's quite significant uh, because it covers 500 products, everything from the robot that will clean your carpet, drones, 
to more traditional consumer electronics categories like phones and tablets. Uh, but over 500 products available. Only this trial is, uh, is online at the moment and only for the German market. But the idea behind it, I think, is significant. Um, it's part of a broader trend of so-called sharing economy, uh, what you've seen in the taxi market and how Uber has upended the traditional rules there. Uh, in hotel accommodations, you see how Airbnb has changed the rules. It's the sharing economy. It's this idea that the millennial generation in particular wants a new way uh, to do business. It's not just owning outright. It's not paying full price up front, but it's sharing. It's rental. It's pay as you go. It's try before you buy. Uh, call it as you like, but it's a fundamentally different way of selling products. So this is how the Media Marked program works. You choose your technology. You go online, and you can browse among those 500 products. Wherever you see that Grover uh, logo, that uh, telltale purple dot, that means the product is available for rental. Uh, I have never bought, for example, an Apple Watch. But for 40 euros a month, Media Marked and partner Grover allow me the opportunity to try it out. So at $40 a month, 40 euros, excuse me, a month, I might consider giving it a shot. So I can have it shipped to me. I try it. It's uncomplicated. I can return it for free at any point, free return shipping. Uh, you have 50% insurance for accidental theft, loss, damage. It's uncomplicated. I can keep it for as long as I want without a minimum monthly contract. Absolute flexibility. I can return it for free, switch it for another product, or decide to buy it. After I've paid just over three months of the initial retail price, it becomes mine to keep. So this is the basis of the whole model. Uh, in the workshop, we had a number of very pointed questions about how it's going to work. And I think we don't have clear answers to those. But that's why this trial becomes so significant. Uh, we've seen it in other industries. We've seen it in other markets. But right here, right now, uh, one of the leaders, Media Mart, is trialing electronics in a pay and go system. Uh, watch very closely the results of this, and let's see how this has an impact on our business moving forward. We also talked a lot about virtual reality. Uh, Best Buy, before the holiday season, worked with Oculus Rift to open 500 store and stores across the USA. It's not just the technology we're selling, but it's also retail is a great application field for VR and AR. Uh, the example I've shown uh, before is the Lowe's Hollow Room. So Lowe's is a DIY retailer. They do everything from paints to kitchen appliances. And they, working with a, a sales staff, you go into their quote unquote hollow room, and you can create your virtual kitchen before you buy. You can test different paint colors. You can put models of refrigerator side by side to decide which combination works best. Again, what you hear about VR is this immersive experience, You're putting them inside that kitchen uh, before they actually buy it. Uh, they can see it. They can imagine it. And they're much more comfortable with the purchase at the end. It's not just VR, but AR. Uh, and difference between them is, is VR, it's the immersive experience. It's the headset. It's typically a controller. But it requires standalone technology. Uh, we recognize there is great promise or potential. Uh, but right now, what you're seeing is more development, I believe, in the AR space, which is overlaying virtual elements onto the real world as seen through a smartphone or tablet. Uh, the picture you see here is a virtual dressing room. So a woman recognizing herself standing in front of a mirror, but using AR, she's able to try on clothes and see the color, see the fit, uh, without actually changing. This is just one compelling, interesting example. Another one uh, in the German market, uh, Coca-Cola sales reps, this is a B2B example, have been given uh, iPads. And they have a software that allows them to go out to restaurants, go out to shops. And the owners can take that iPad and see the full catalog of Coca-Cola coolers uh, by size, by color, by shape, superimpose that on their store, their restaurant, to figure out which one is the best buy. It's an interesting, compelling application. Uh, we're still early in the process, but I think it's something we should be aware of. So these are just a, a few examples, not 80 retailers around the world, but three that we should be taking a, a close look at. Uh, see what happens with the Amazon Go stores. Watch very closely the results of the media marked trial, renting consumer electronics products. And watch VR and AR. Uh, there are some really compelling applications for retail.